Are you trying to buy a property in Florida, but your offers keep losing to cash buyers? Find out where some buyers are finding more affordable options. Coming up next. Hi everyone, I'm Patricia Sagastuma and I'm a realtor here in Florida. I can help you if you're looking for property in the Tampa Bay region or the greater Fort Lauderdale area. So in this video, I'm going to go over two topics. I'm going to go over the real estate market, how it's doing and how it relates to buyers. And secondly, I'm going to compare some two luxury condominiums in the two different places. So first of all, I know a lot of buyers are frustrated. I'm working with quite a few that um, their offers are being rejected for cash offers. And so a recent trend, and I've uh, reported this before in previous videos, is that people in South Florida are taking their money, either selling their property and going to other places that are less expensive, like the Tampa Bay area. So in this respect, um, that's an option. You can, if you're looking at a lower price point, you'll have more money for a more money down. I mean, obviously people, the interest rates are low, mortgage interest rates are low. So it's a lot of people are motivated to borrow that cheap money and buy something 3%, 5%, 10% down. But what they're running across are buyers that will, are willing to pay cash for everything. So what can you do? Like I said, they're looking at lower price points. And before I jump into the properties, I want you to look at this graph. It's for the past three years. And you'll notice that in 2021, the amount of new active listings wasn't that much different than um, two years ago. This other graph, I'm gonna put it up, in the last uh, for the last three years shows you that orange line on the bottom is the it's very low lower than the other two years and it's showing you the amount of time property stayed on the market all this is ex is exemplifying how eager and how abundant are the buyers so it's not a lack of inventory it's the amount of buyers it, I, I i compare this to when covid happened and everybody rushed to the store for the toiletry there was a lack of toilet paper remember that and it wasn't that there was uh, not enough toilet paper in the country, is that the demand increased all of a sudden and they didn't have it in the stores. So that's comparable to what we're seeing in the real estate market. So uh, in previous uh, YouTube videos, I have uh, explained about this trend of people in the more expensive areas, especially South Florida, cashing in, uh, getting that high price for the property and buying something. They don't wanna move out of Florida, but they might go to uh, Central Florida, to Tampa Bay area, West Florida, where it's typically a little less expensive. So that leads me to my second point. Today, I wanted to compare luxury condominiums because for instance, the greater Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale, for example, they have had explosive growth in luxury condominiums for decades, for decades. I, in the past, I've showed you Pompano. They are going through growth now in their um, beach area, and they have right now two super luxury condominiums, but they're gonna have more. It's the same as in Tampa Bay. So I'm gonna compare these two properties. They're close in size. They both are three bedrooms and they both have water views. They're not the same age, but here you're gonna see the price point difference. And if you're looking for luxury uh, properties, definitely um, places in Tampa Bay uh, will have uh, more affordable units. So let's get started. This first luxury unit is an oceanfront condo in Fort Lauderdale. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath unit, and it's listed for nearly $1.6 million. It has nearly 2,100 square feet and comes with its own private elevator. This condo was built in 1997 and the association fees are 1,450 monthly. The condo, as you can see, is playfully designed residence with designer finishes and upgrades. This unit is on the seventh floor of this 22-floor complex. The resort-style amenities include 24-hour security, valet parking, concierge services, private beach pavilion, two heated swimming pools, tennis courts, fitness center, business center, and more. Next, I want to show you this new construction condominium, which also has lots of resort style amenities. But instead of ocean views, it will have Bay Harbor views. It's located on a private peninsula, which is walking distance to marine front restaurants and shops. This unit is also three bedrooms, and it also is nearly 2,100 square feet, but obviously it's much newer. It's listed for 972,000. The association fee is 1,227. These photos are virtually staged, so keep that in mind. 
there are docks that are equipped with electricity and water supply for the residents on a first-come basis. The resort-style amenities include an oversized heated pool, spa, a covered outdoor pavilion with a summer kitchen and gas grills. There are loads of modern indoor amenities, including private elevators, a billiards room, a virtual golf simulator, and a catering kitchen, and more. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, feel free to call, text, or email me. I love hearing from you. And until next time, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.